horrible. About three weeks of, of gut-wrenching um, agony for our entire family. This Westerville father is talking about a devastating diagnosis. His daughter has a rare disorder he had never even heard of before and that has no cure. But now there is more light at the end of the tunnel. 10 TV's Brittany Bailey has more on a new partnership with Nationwide Children's Hospital, giving this entire family fresh hope. I dance. I like to do volleyball. Victoria Cook likes cheerleading too, but you have to press her a bit on this last one. Oh, I like to do the piano. <laughs> there is also the trampoline, rock climbing, and hanging with her family. But doctor's visits, not so much. I don't like to focus on the tough things because it just worries me more. So it makes me want to know what's going to happen and stuff. What's going to happen is a bit of an unknown. Victoria has NF2, a rare genetic disorder that causes tumors to grow on her nerves, leading to hearing loss, vision loss, and paralysis. There is no cure. That such, such a terrible thing can happen to such a normal child is devastating. But dad Steve Cook put that devastation into action. He is now a board member for NF2 Biosolutions, a nonprofit raising funds for gene therapy research. Thus far, doors have been open and there's, there's, there's hope that we can come up with something. This past Friday, NF2 Biosolutions signed a research agreement with the Abigail Wexter Research Institute here at Nationwide Children's Hospital for a preclinical study. The $300,000 will fund two research positions for two years. To keep the project going after that, more money will be needed. It's amazing. It's ecstatic. We're ecstatic. Our whole organization is ecstatic. I'm glad that we have a hospital working with NF2 Biosolutions to find a cure. Brittany Bailey, 10 TV News. Right now, Victoria has a tumor that is causing blindness in her right eye. Otherwise, she's doing just fine. Her father says the biggest help in finding a cure is getting funding for gene therapy research. To find out more about NF2 or to donate, look for Brittany's story at 10tv.com.